Hello and welcome to this episode where I'm talking about what you can do in this period where we are physically distant from each other and unable to do our normal activities. I know that we are now all mostly situated at home. But that doesn't mean that we need to abandon our marine science kitchen. We just need to get a little creative, thinking outside the box, and see what resources we can use in this time. Here, I put together my own list that would hopefully encourage yourself. In general, I recommend these two websites for any age, which are marinebio.org and Kinetatomy. Marinebio.org is the site goal for all things marine biology. It has a massive amount of marine science resources, including educational tools, media communication platforms and more the website has so much resources that it frequently adds new ones Khan Academy it's a video learning site that's open to the public with no calls to you it had subjects like math, science, engineering, art, humanities, computing, and economic finance, with individual topics geared to grade levels from preschool to early college. They even have test preps. From here on out, I'm going to separate by grade level content, so if you want to skip to the one you need, look at the descriptions below for the timestamps. Now, on to the resources for 5th graders and below. First, it's the kids section of National Geographic. This website has things to get you inspired. And they have a special initiative called Nagio at Home, where there's new frequent educational content and live events. Another one is called Ocean's Initiative. This one is a virtual marine biology camp where Two actual marine biologists and their daughter talk to you about topics relating to marine life through Facebook and Instagram by weekly. The third one is called Free Kids Books and it's exactly what it is. It's a website to download free books for kids to read and be engaged. The last one for this section is El Porto Shark. This is another virtual marine learning platform, but it's more interactive in that the marine biologists can give you worksheets and grade them to see how you are handling the material. Next is middle school to high school resources. In this stage of your life, your job is to just stay curious and keep your mind focused. With the headline news now being roughly the same, why not change it up by looking at environmental marine science news online? This is good for making connections between topics and to be more open to learning things outside the fields that you like. Another is looking at blogs. 
even though these can be opinionated and sometimes dry, they can inspire you to dive deeper into a topic and think about the different viewpoints about them. If you are really ambitious and want to up your game, you can try your hands at reading scientific journal articles. There are certain techniques of reading articles depending on what you are interested in and what you are need at the moment. Podcasts are a longer form of exploring marine science, but if you are willing to have a dialogue and stretch a topic out, then it can be worth it. The benefit of listening is that you can be doing something else, so essentially you're killing two birds with one stone. A newsletter that I would check out more is Mission Blue. Now, for two forms of entertainment, which are either books or movies, the book that I would recommend is called The Edge of the Sea by Rachel Carson. A recommended movie would be The Life Aquatic by Steve Zizou. The last section is going to be labeled Higher Education. This is for college students and beyond. First, I listed a bunch of websites that you could do free college courses and even a great MOOC for people planning to go into academia or at least keep in touch with the academic community. There's two social media that you need to follow, academia and research gate. The last group of resources is to join Marine Science Facebook group. This is not only a good way to network and expand your presence, but you can also interact with marine scientists from all around the world and they can give you helpful real-time advice. I'll list them all down in the descriptions below. As far as I can tell, Facebook is the only one that you can interact and mingle as a community. Twitter is where a lot of marine scientists go to, but it's only for daily news or updates. I don't know that much about what Instagram, Snapchat, or other platforms do with marine science, but they are more connected with YouTubers wanting to expand their presence. There you have it. This is the list that I've created that will hopefully help you to stay curious about marine science. The various websites and resources that I presented here are not endorsed in any way or form. I just like their content. Lastly, if you have any more resources or links that you discovered and want to share, post them below in the comments because we all learn better together. Cheers.